so this is my first video um, ranting I guess and it was because of something that just happened online and it's just frustrated me so much um, so this guy uh, this random person I don't know posted a picture of a lady um, I guess at Walmart she had blue hair blue outfit on or whatever minding her own business and he said what the fuck is that and then all of his friends proceed to make fun of her and I said you know God I would really hate for people to take pictures of me when I'm out shopping minding my own business to post online you know without my knowledge so everybody can make fun of me and he was like God oh, chill with the attitude you know I'm sure she doesn't care and blah 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 and I was like let me actually hold on a second let me actually find the thread <clears throat> and I will read it um, because how I worded it on the thread was much better and that is if he hasn't blocked me by now because you know people don't like being told what they're doing is wrong even though it is wrong I said man I'd hate to have someone take pictures of me and put them online for others to mock just because I'm dressed in a way that makes me happy he said look man it's just a picture of how people look and opinion doesn't matter that lady rocks man has the balls to walk in life as such mocking I'm not please untwist the negative too, dude no one knows her and I'm sure she's not worried about posting her style I said maybe you didn't read your caption but saying what the fuck is that and everyone else aside from one other person calling her names is indeed mocking her there's no such thing as privacy anymore people assume it's okay to take your picture and share it without permission if you're so sure she's not worried about it then why didn't you ask her excuse me but I'd like to take your picture and post it on Facebook so I could ask my Facebook friends what the fuck you are is that okay get out of here with that and uh, so he replied <laughs> Dude, you got a problem, huh? I'm in Sar Sar Saranac, Michigan. It's a pic from Pinterest. You want to find negative in this Superman, we can talk. Don't come at me like that on here. Come to me or I will you. If it is that big of a deal, want to save the world, Superman, then get busy, son. Save the world, fly on over, and we can talk like men do when heated. Face to face, feel me ready when you are Superman. Bake some cookies. I got milk straight from the tap. All those who playing with this post are safe and allowed to do as they choose. Same as I. You choose. Now you come at me with your opinion that suggests anger. I'm just fine. The rage you woke up is in control at this moment. But you keep bumping those gums and want some milk. Come on by Superman. Bring your cookies and we will have a ball. Lots of exclamation marks. I'm going to pause this because I've got to reply to this idiot. He has no idea what he's talking about. And for one, I'm a female. Be right back. Okay, took care of that. I set him straight on the fact that I am a female and whether he took the picture or or not, this person should not be posted, you know, having pictures taken of them without their knowledge and be posted online for other people to make fun of. It's just not right. There is no such thing as privacy anymore. It seems people feel like because they have the ability to take pictures of whatever they want that it's okay to violate somebody else's privacy and take pictures of them just because you you don't understand or agree with or share their fashion sense I mean like people of Walmart you know that site I, I've probably been posting lots of those sites myself and it makes me cringe to think of it you know like back in the day when we had like Polaroids and the big cameras would you have gone up to someone and just you know taken their picture where they could have seen you I highly doubt it and if you would have then you've got some pretty big balls but people think that they can stealth take photos now and it's okay somehow it's not okay you know everybody has a right to wear what they want to wear and be comfortable and be out and they're minding their own business living their own life so what right do you have to take pictures of them and then post it publicly without their knowledge just so you can make fun of them I mean I brought this up once in New Zealand um, there was a picture going around there was some woman on a bus and she was wearing like a tank top and one of her boobs was hanging out she didn't know and instead of them you know she was just sitting there looking out the window minding her own business and one of her tits happened to fall out of her top and instead of telling her excuse me ma'am you know you can you they took a picture of her and shared it online and completely fucking shamed her and mocked her and I was like you know what that is so wrong it's so wrong and it's so rude and it just shows you the mindset of everybody nowadays and that really really sucks you know um, 
Josh and I were at Walmart uh, a couple months ago and this man was there and, you know, I was dressed up, you know, I, I get dressed up when I go to the store and he pretended he was on his phone, like browsing around. And then I heard like he, he had a shutter on very loudly. And Josh said, excuse me, who said you could take a picture of my wife? And he's like, I, I wasn't taking a picture of your wife. You know, I wasn't doing anything. And he's like, we both heard the shutter and the guy was so nervous because he had been confronted with it. He didn't know what to say, what to do. He just kind of like ducked his head and then walked away. Another time I was standing in line and Josh was in a separate line and he started yelling at this guy and I was like, what's going on? He's like, Hey, why are you taking pictures of my wife? And I turn around and this guy was there like taking like a full on picture of me. <clears throat> and, um, he tried to say that he was taking pictures of my shoes cause he really liked my boots or something. And Josh is like, you know, you can ask her, she's right there. You can go up to and ask her if it's okay, you know, for you to take her photo. You don't just take pictures of people without their permission like that. And those are just two examples. I can only imagine how many people have taken photos of me that I don't know about. I've had a couple of them come up to me and ask me, is it okay if I could take a picture of you and I could share it on my Facebook or can I take a picture with you? And that's totally fine. You know, I'll, I'll always say yes. I always appreciate being asked, give me the option if I want my picture out there or not. And even that's kind of risky because, you know, I can't edit them. I don't know what angle they're taking it. I don't see the finished product. But, you know, at least they had the decency to ask me. Um, or if they take pictures just to show their friends. Or, oh, look at her outfit. She looks cool. Or, you know, something positive. That's one thing. But don't take pictures of somebody strictly for the reason of mocking them and making fun of them. Post them online without their knowledge or their permission. And just rip them to shreds. I mean... How does nobody realize how fucked up that is to do to somebody? It's like everybody just laughs and makes memes and thinks it's all great fun. But do you not realize that these are real people? And, you know, you could say, well, if they didn't want their picture taken, then why go out in public like that? That's the same train of thought as if you don't want to get bullied, why be online? Why should there be punishment and negativity just because you want to do your own thing? I want to be online. I want to interact with my friends and my followers. I want to make videos and I want to share certain aspects of my life. Does that mean I deserve to be bullied? No. You know, I want to get dressed up in a style that I love and I'm comfortable in. I want to get tattoos that I love that I have to live with and see. You know, I want to wear clothes that make me feel comfortable. Should I? Like, do I really deserve to have pictures taken of me and be torn apart and insulted? No. You know, I, like, nobody makes the rules. Who says what's normal and what isn't? I don't like jeans and cowboy hats or jeans and t-shirts. I don't wear that style. That's not my style. I, I'm not into, like, the ghetto gangster style where they're the pants hanging down past their ass crack, you know? Different people have different interests, different styles. You know, nobody is exactly the same. And just because I don't agree with somebody's fashion sense doesn't mean it gives me any right to take pictures of them to ridicule them. I mean, am I that low of a person that that's how I get my kicks to take pictures and just put somebody else out there? No. And this is actually, <laughs> this goes back, I'm gurgling, sorry. This goes back so many years, um, way back before I even met. Logan, um, I had made the goth boys page and I've talked about this before. People were saying, Oh, it's cause she likes young boys. Well, I made it and I named it goth boys as a play on goth girls. Cause they're, I don't know if they're still around, but there was a site that was pretty big on Facebook called goth girls. And you know, they would post pictures of goth girls and somebody posted pictures of me on there without my knowledge. They were my pictures. I took them. I had them on my own page. Somebody came to my page, took the pictures, posted them on a site without my permission. And I got, you know, I had, I had some compliments on there, but I had a lot of people making fun of me and just insulting me and just, I mean, saying the nastiest, most embarrassing, cruel things. Like I wasn't even a human being, you know, like, I mean, if you don't have anything nice to say, why say it at all? Like, does it make you feel that much better just to sit there and talk shit about somebody you don't know? I didn't ask for my picture to be put out there. And the mods and admins do nothing to moderate the comments. They just let people 
have their picture put on there without their permission and other people just sit there and talk shit about them. And I was like, nah, I wouldn't do that. I mean, that's, that's a really fucked up thing to do to somebody. And so out of spite, I created goth boys. I took their name, but I made it boys instead of girls. Cause there's already so many sites out there for girls. And I made it a place where goth guys could go. The, the little people, the, the guys that aren't big models that don't have that security and that safety that might want to try it or they're new to it and they don't feel safe anywhere else because they don't want to get made fun of and I made it a hard and steady rule that you are not to mock or make fun of anybody posted it is a complete safe zone and when I got with Logan I stopped running it I handed it over I've had a bunch of admins over the years and finally, I've got one now that's been working on it for years and years. Like, I've got absolutely nothing to do with the page anymore except for in name. I keep it because it's mine. I made it. But he runs everything. Um, this video is not about, you know, my old page or whatever. But it's the reason I made it was to give someone a safe space because I've always disagreed with you know, putting someone out there for whatever reason without their knowledge, without their, you know approval and just setting someone else up to be made fun of. There are places like roast my selfie. I don't know why anyone would want to be roasted, but they have fun with it. They want to be roasted. So good for them. Those kind of pages are made for it. Go for it. They submit their own pictures. They're asking to be made fun of. They think it's fun or they want to challenge it. Like they think they're too hot to be, you know, found, found flaws with or whatever, whatever reason they have. That's cool. You know, I mean, that's what it's there for. They're willing participants, but your average person who might not have great fashion sense or who might not have the money to buy good clothes or who might not have the same fashion style as you does not deserve to have their picture taken to be put out there for other people to sit back and share and mock and ridicule and laugh at. You know, that person could have family or friends. They could come across it and see this. I mean, you don't know how that's going to make them feel. They might not care, but they just might. And it, it really, really angers me that this is what the world is now. And I've said this in my videos before. The internet should have been the most wonderful, marvelous invention, you know? It gives you the ability to talk to anybody anywhere in the world. I mean, things like international calls and long distance calls are pretty much a thing of the past. You've got free calling now. You could, you could get in touch with celebrities, you know, that you could have never dreamt of speaking with or interacting with in the past. You can find music, movies, books, TV shows. You could research anything, any bit of knowledge you could ever want is at your fingertips. You know, there's so much good that could come out of the internet, but all that's really happened, the majority of what's happened is just bad. People no longer see each other as living, breathing human beings with thoughts and opinions and hearts and feelings. They just see them as, you know, how can I go viral? What can I say to make myself feel better? And, and it's all about pain and hurt and mocking and fun. Um, do everything for views and people get lazier. Like nobody knows how to spell or write anymore. Like nobody knows the difference between women and woman anymore. That's like a big one. Like you're such a beautiful woman. I know I'm not skinny, but there's only one of me. You know what I mean? Like how do they not know plurals and singulars anymore? Like schools don't teach cursive anymore. Like it's, it's crazy when you step back and you actually think about everything that's different now and how lazy people have gotten with all the technology that we are given. And see, I, I like to research stuff. I read up on all kinds of facts and trivia and research for fun. I've always done that. You know, I have my books, I read online. That's how I spend my time. But most people don't do that. I'm not saying everybody doesn't, but most people don't. It's the new fad to be stupid. You, you, you act dumb and, and that gets you views. Everything is centered around getting views. And <clears throat> a little side topic there. The one thing that I do agree with um, that people don't like is when they have the videos helping the homeless or doing kind deeds and they film it. 
And people are like, well, if you're really doing the kind deeds, why do you need to film it? Why do you have to show it? And I just think, you know, in that situation, I like seeing that because it's a little bit of positivity in an otherwise negative world. Yeah, they might be filming it. They might be getting views out of it. But as long as that person really is getting that help, if they're really getting the food, the blankets, the clothing, the shelter, the jobs or whatever the point of that video is, then what's the harm? There's no harm in it. And if they film it, maybe it'll encourage other people to want to be better and to do better and to help because they see how it affects the person that they're helping. And I much, I would much rather log on and be, you know, overwhelmed by feel good videos of people helping each other and doing good deeds rather than people attacking each other and picking on each other and just hurting each other. That's just my personal opinion. And, um, I just wish that we, you know, as the human race, <laughs> I, I just wish that we had handled it better having this technology and this ability to reach out across, you know, miles and miles and miles and everything the internet could have done and been, I wish that people had just been better and done better instead of gone, going the way that it has gone. Um, it's just really sad when you think about it like that. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Is your 15 minutes of fame really worth tearing somebody else's life apart? It's just, I, I don't think it is. I'll never be famous and I don't care. I'm not definitely not going to go around and hurt someone just so I can try to get famous. I'm not going to, you know, throw away my own morals just to hope to have my name plastered out. I don't want my name plastered out there. I want my life to be my life. And unfortunately it's not, but you know, that's through no fault of my own. I'm not trying to put myself out there in a way that will get me those kind of views. If that makes sense. You know, I just want my own life. We are all entitled to our own lives. We are all entitled to peace and happiness and just to be left alone. If we want to be left alone, you know, safety go out and just live your life and dress how you want to dress and be who you want to be and we shouldn't have to worry that there's going to be a camera pointed at us you know stealthily and we could run into ourselves online where people are just dogging us for minding our own business and yeah i'm that's all i have to say about that that just really pissed me off you could agree or not agree. If you don't agree, obviously you're one of those that likes to pick on other people, which I mean, what the hell is wrong with you? Just why do you do it? I mean, what is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to go now, but I just really need to get that off my chest. Thank you for listening and I will see you guys the next time something pisses me off.